I'm here with Bill Wake, a veteran of 15 years, in, in over 15 years, I think it is, in Agile, and a major thought leader and contributor to the space. Thanks for joining us, Bill. Hi, Alex, thanks. Let's talk about burn down. Um, wh what is your point of view on that, and do, do you see it work well for teams or not well, and, and what, do you, what do you suggest typically for teams on this? I, I'm not all that fond of it per se, because, I mean, it sort of assumes we know all the things that we're going to do for this project, and then as we do them, we'll get down, and eventually it's down to zero things left to do, and we can ship. And for some projects, that's probably reasonable enough. Um, if we're replacing feature for feature an existing system, and here's the 100 features we have, and how many have we shipped, and, and when we get them all shipped, we're done, um, it, it makes more sense. Um, if you're doing something that's more exploratory, um, you, you tend to be more like we burn down some and then we find out here's new things we should do and you go up and down and eventually you decide you're going to ship. Um, it, it, it doesn't feel as, as good to me. You know, it, it, uh, it's not built in to say we're just going to go down in one direction and uh, you know, the variation that represents the learning we're doing. Um, it, you know, if, if, you, if you pretend that's not going to happen and your plans are built around just going down in a linear way, uh, it, it's going to be a misfit. So um, I do feel like I like to see visualizations to help me understand uh, how my how my project's going and uh, and what we're doing. Um, but it's just you know burn down's one of the ones we can use, and there are others. So um, I think we sometimes have maps of st stories. Uh, there are different forms of story maps you can do that that track. Uh, the progress on developing some stories and identify which ones are critical and which ones are, are less important. Um, um, other times we're just measuring like how quickly can we turn things around. So um, in like a pure support organization, uh, you know, we can do this kind of very Kanban approach that says things come in and how long till they're delivered. And we can do the same thing for some product organizations too. The, the, the key driver is how quickly can we learn, not so much, uh, did we have the right hundred things at the start? Well, that's some great advice on managing work in progress and, and the, the puts and takes of burn down. Thanks, Bill.